Hey guys, well I am back again today at Savers and I'm actually going to a new Savers that I've never been to. In the area where I live, um, there are about three locations and I usually always go to the same location. So today I happen to have a dentist appointment and I googled Savers and there was one close by to my dentist. So I'm super excited to try out this new location. And guys, I got a front row parking spot. I am literally parked right in front of the store. So I feel like that's a good sign. So I'm gonna go inside and see what I can buy and then resell for a profit. Wish me luck. All right, so we're gonna start off in the knickknacks. And I feel a little overwhelmed because this is a brand new store. I haven't seen any of this stuff. And so I feel like I really need to look closely at everything so that I don't miss something. So I'm going to maybe look a little bit more closely at these things. And if I find something, I will let you guys know. I like this bird. It's from Brazil. It's so cute. It's seven dollars. And when I look on eBay, there's they're not selling for very much, but I do think that's really cute. I wish I had a spot for that. Let's see what else do we have here? Oh, look at these bunnies. So sweet. Gosh, look at that little mouse back there. He's cute. Or is it a raccoon? I'm not sure. Okay, that must be a raccoon. Hmm. I might peel this back and see if I can get any more information. Nope. Just looks like a little clay figure that someone made. Let me Google that and see what I find. Here's another little figurine that caught my eye. It says switching the freight. Sadly though, his nose is missing. But this is, it actually has a sticker on it from an antique mall. Um, Sebastian and it's $5, but I think since his nose is missing, I'm gonna have to pass. It's too bad, it's really cute. My gosh, look at this guy. It's interesting because it almost looks like, it almost looks like fabric that then got covered by glass. Very interesting. Okay, so believe it or not, this guy is vintage. It's La Vie Ceramics. And a couple of these have sold on eBay. Um, one sold for 36 and one was a best offer. So he's $10 plus I have my 20% off coupon. So I might pick him up. We'll see what else I find. He's just, he's not my style at all, but apparently somebody out there likes him. Hmm, funny. I really like this little pig. Isn't it cute? I wonder what you're supposed to put in there. 99 but he does have some damage on him, but he's so cute. And then there's this cute cow. It's also from Brazil. The bird that I liked was from Brazil too. So cute. And then I was wondering about this little glass dragon. And then this chow dog is really cute too. It looks, it's dirty, but still really cute. So I'm going to look up the dragon and the chow and see if I find anything. Oh, and then these, I have two of these in my daughter's room. So I think I'm going to pick this up to continue my collecting set. I just think that they're really cute. The two that we have at home are not on these stands, but I think that they're really cute. So I'll add that to my cart. So it's looking like this only sells for about $5 and I couldn't find an exact match on this. It was a little odd because it said that this there were a bunch of matches for pet urn, but I don't think that this is an urn. I don't see any kind of an opening unless, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna pass on that. And then I did end up looking at the cow because I thought it was so cute, nothing there. But then I found this cute little piggy bank that looks very, very old. So it does have some damage on the paint, but it's just so cute and tiny. I'm gonna see what I can find on this. I don't see any markings on it, but it's so cute and old. I love it. So here's a piece of Murano glass. I love the color. So beautiful. With a little vein of blue in it. Look at that. Just 
just like a beautiful leaf. Hmm, I really like that. I think I'm gonna look this up. Oh my gosh, look at these. Whoa. Wow, these are interesting. Oh, and they're really heavy. Really heavy. Okay, I'm gonna have to look those up too. I'm not a big rooster person, but these are really cool. And I don't feel any damage to them. We're gonna check these guys out. So these are selling on eBay. Um, there were quite a few sales, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Um, they are $15 each. But again, with my coupon, I'm gonna save a little bit on that. So I'm gonna check them for any damage and then pick these up. So these are interesting. I don't see any markings on them, but they are very pretty. Let's see if I can find these. Well, these are not selling extremely well on eBay. I did find um, almost the exact same one for sale for 25, but then the sales on these weren't super high, so I'm gonna pass on those. But I did find this really pretty tile that I'm gonna look up. And then this little dish is so pretty, but I'm so sad because it has a chip on here. Otherwise, isn't that beautiful? I love the shape and I love the color. I may just get that and put it in my with my jewelry because it's so pretty. I don't know, we'll see. I'm already finding a lot of stuff and I'm only on the first aisle. It's kind of crazy. All right, let me look up that tile. Okay, well I also found this bowl. It's absolutely beautiful. It is signed. But I can't seem to find anything on this signature. I thought it said Glam Light. I thought it said G Land Light. I thought it said Glam Light. There you go, you guys can get a better view of it. But I haven't been able to find anything, but I still think that that's really beautiful. And I may just pick this up for now and see what else I find. Look at this cute little box. It's just handmade by some kid. But I really like the colors. I like the colors. I like the clouds. I like the mountains. It's $5. I'm going to put that in as a maybe. Alright, what else do we have? This box is pretty. That's really pretty. Hmm, I might have to check on that. Let's see. I'm learning that I should check these for sterling. It says sterling. I'm gonna give this a good once over. Okay, well I don't see a sterling stamp on that, so I'm gonna pass on that. Another cute bird. This little teapot is cute. A little enamel teapot. It says Renee House Relief House. It's made in China. And it doesn't have the little, oh yeah, it doesn't have the little stopper. That is really cute. <clears throat> Crystal bell, missing the, the little thing that hangs down in the bell. What else do we have? Oh, that's a cute cookie jar back there. Excuse me. It's really cute. What is this? Townhouse Canister Collective, made in Brazil. I've been finding a lot of stuff here today that's made in Brazil. That's really cute. Oh, but look, the little stoop is chipped. Darn. Gonna get that back in there without breaking it. This is interesting. L24. Hmm. I might look this up, see if I can find anything. I've never seen anything like that before. It does have a little chip there. Hmm. Okay, let's check that. Wow, look at this old gourd. A gourd with paintings on it or carvings. That's cool. Rick 05. Is that 1905 or 2005? I would think 2005. That's also neat. But let me look this up and see what I can find. So this is an Inarco pitcher, um, but I'm going to pass on it because they, they really don't sell on eBay. Really? Kind of cool, but yeah, not very popular. This apple is cute, but it's got some damage, which is too bad because it is very cute. 
Okay, so they are still stocking, and they just brought out these three Murano glass flowers. And they are $10 for all three. So I'm definitely get grabbing those. So pretty. All right, guys, I think we're just about done with this aisle. <laughs> Let's turn the corner and see what else we can find. I'm very confused about this. I can't get this top part off. It will not come off. It almost looks like it's like glued. What is this thing? I like the strawberries. It's like a cute little basket with strawberries. I'm gonna try to figure out what this is. Well, I can't figure out what this is. And seriously, the lid is like glued on. There's no markings underneath. That's just like the remnant of a sticker. So I'm gonna have to leave it behind. It's very vintagey. I wish I could get the lid off, but seriously, like someone has glued it on. So kind of strange. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. Okay, now we are on to holiday. And I saw these. These are kind of neat. They're Thomas Kincaid Christmas ornaments. I don't know if there's a lot of demand for Thomas Kincaid anymore. I feel like he had his heyday in like the 90s, but I might look those up. Okay, I've always ignored nutcrackers, but I've heard that there are some that are valuable. Here's a Spode Christmas tree. I might like that. Um, none of these have any markings on the bottom. This one says made in Taiwan. This one up here is very cool made in China. Hmm. All right, well, I am gonna look up this Spode little Christmas tree and see what I can find. Only one has sold, so I'm gonna pass on that, even though it is cute. Tons of decorative plates. And lots of beer steins. USS Constellation. San Juan Capistrano. I don't really see anything there. So what is this up here? A16. It's huh. pretty. I don't know. This does not look like it's hand painted. It looks like this has just been applied on here. Like almost this is something from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna put that back. This guy's cute. Metal nutcracker. What else do we have? We've got some dolls. Not a big doll person. Ooh, this is kind of neat. Glass high heel. It's like a paperweight. What is this? Heather Goldfink. Hmm. Oh, that's a ladybug. I thought that it was like a frog wearing glasses, but it's a ladybug. Maybe I will look this up and see what I find. Is that a little fairy bite? It looks very small. Check that out too. I also noticed these. Those are pretty. So I've got some research to do in that back there. It looks pretty also. Hmm. Well, there were quite a few of these sold on eBay. And for $2.99, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Kind of cute. I thought this was Mackenzie Childs, but it's Carol Eldridge, which I looked up on eBay and she hasn't done a whole lot, so I'm putting that back. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's from Mexico. It's pretty, kind of primitive looking. I came back to the knickknack aisle. There was so much Murano glass it. I felt like I needed to come back through again. Ooh, thanks. Let's knock that over. That would have been bad. Made in China. Cute little nativity set, but someone's missing their head. Cute little raccoons. I think somebody had a raccoon collection, because that's the second or third raccoon I've seen. Totally in love. Hmm. Little cat. I don't remember seeing that. It's a little bell. 
Cute. Some paint missing from its nose, but I might look that up. That guy's cute back there. Okay, we are now in the vases and pots section. Last week I bought a really pretty Chinese pot and I cleaned it up and I have it posted on Facebook Marketplace and it has not sold. I did get one nibble on it, but no luck yet. That's really beautiful. And I'm getting sucked in by the Chinese pots once again. No more games. So pretty with the cherry blossoms. Love that. Hmm. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna think about this because it's twenty dollars. And again, I already have another Chinese pot. I see a few things that are interesting. That looks interesting. This looks interesting. That looks interesting. That looks interesting. That looks interesting. Oh my gosh, there's a lot here, you guys. I need somebody to come and shop with me. Okay, I couldn't find this. This is a little bit boring. This is modern. Um, down there, that was modern. I was hoping this was Murano glass, but it's also modern. It just had like a regular barcode on it. Um, it's kind of cute. FTD in Portugal, 1983. I have some plates and cups that match this at my shop, but they have not sold, so I'll leave that there. I, did, I think I already said I looked at that. That was modern, but I did grab this. But that was really pretty. Hand from pottery. I don't see a name on the bottom, but doesn't have any chips. It does have crazing, but I actually think it's really beautiful. So I'm gonna pick that up. Let's see what else we can find. This plastic, this plastic. This elephant one is kind of cute. Fan Celadon, made in Thailand. Okay, I think I'll leave that. Alright, what else do we have here? This picture is kind of cute. 1 800 flowers. I do like the, light, the color of that purple vase. I'll look at that. Hmm. No markings on that, but I do love the color. It's so vibrant. It's the bottom of a kerosene lantern. Hmm. Wow, this is pretty. Daffodils. What is this? No signature. Very pretty. I don't know. I put that back. Is this crystal? No, plastic. Plastic. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's cool. No markings on that, but I'm gonna take a closer look at this. That's really cool. So this is a handkerchief glass base, and these are selling for about $20 on eBay. So with my coupon, I'm gonna definitely consider this as a maybe. You guys, this is gonna be another ridiculous savers trip. I mean, they just have so much good stuff here. Look at that water dispenser up there. I'm gonna go check that out, but I have a thing for hummingbirds, and this is so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? This was really cute too. I did look that up. Very vintagey and cute. But it's ten dollars, and um, they're selling for about twenty. But I do like this a lot. This is seven ninety nine, so I'm gonna keep this for myself as a maybe. So this is Crate and Barrel. It's very cute, but it is just Crate and Barrel, so I'll pass on that. Cute little Eiffel Tower plate. What else do we have? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't see anything extremely interesting, so I might move on to the next aisle. These are cute, those little ice cream cones. 
things. This vintage ovenware is really cute with the little carrots on it, but it does have a chip on it. So, look at the little radishes, that's really cute. What's this thing up here? Some kind of interesting bottle. It was $3 at one point. Hmm. I think it's kind of ugly, so I'm gonna keep going. Let's see, this is the wood and the metal. Don't see anything that grabs my attention except what is this up here? Oh my gosh, this is heavy. But... Interesting, this little pig is kind of cute. <laughs> George Good Corporation, um, city, city of Industry, California, made in Taiwan. Hmm, let me look this up and see. It's very heavy. Well, I got distracted because I found this Caravelle sizzling server from France. So this is $7, but it's not in the best shape. It definitely has some scratches. If I can find more of these, I might pick it up but to be determined. Okay, now I'm gonna look this up. Okay, my phone is starting to die, so I have to be more selective about what I send you, but look at this vase. Isn't that beautiful? It's got the signature on the bottom. J, or is it C? C-H-S, maybe? Let's see if I can find anything on this. I also found this little tea set from Bavaria. So we'll see what we can find there. So there are quite a few of these that have sold on eBay for, I don't know, upwards of $30. This one is seven. And then this is five. Oh, this has a little chip on it. Shoot, I'm gonna leave it then. That is really pretty though, that's too bad. Guys, look at this apple. It's gorgeous. Ten dollars. So pretty. I think I'm definitely gonna get this. And ironically, I found it with the glassware, which technically it is glass, but it doesn't really belong with the cups. These are super pretty bowls. I think that it's Avon, and there are several. They're four dollars each, but they are so pretty. I might look those up. A lot of like full dish sets. Oh, those gold rimmed ones are pretty. Hmm. Oh, I picked up uh, plates and here's the cup. So I can add that. But sit down here that I have. I don't think I showed you guys when I grabbed that. Okay, I'm gonna look these up. These are so pretty, but they're just a little too pricey. So I think I'm gonna pass on them. These are pretty. Look that is. Federal shape Syracuse, China, made in America. Hmm, I wonder what that is. This is like a whole little grouping of vintage stuff. Somebody grabbed that teapot and brought it over here with that plate. Cute. I like that little Pyrex dish. What else do we have here? see anything with that funny horse that catches my eye to look at more closely. Swing back around to the dishes. What are these? Made in Poland. Warvel. Wham. Wawel. Wawel. That's really pretty. I don't know that I'm up for buying a whole set of dishes. Those are pretty too. They're just a little bit more simple. Those are Nortaki. Alright, so let's keep going. These guys are cute. They're made in China, but still really cute. Fisherman. 
looks like he's hand carved. He's a cutie. Oh, this must be the ocean theme because it's all like blues and greens and stuff. And then a miscellaneous donut mug. What is this right here? And what is that? This is some kind of pottery. Oh, that's for your sponge, I guess. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I'm going to look that up. And then this is pretty, too. Oh, you put a candle down in there. And then it illuminates out. That's cool. Really cool. It's got part of the candle stuff still down in there. Let's look this up. Look at this cute clock. It's so adorable. I think it's from like the 80s. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That'd be so cute in a baby's room. I love that. It's in really, really, really good shape. Hmm. Super cute. I wonder if it works. Huh. Okay. Maybe. Okay, I found this pretty watercolor. $14.99. It does appear to be original. I don't think it's a print, but it's really beautiful. I might pick that up. I also saw this really cute black. Very different about grandma. Super cute. Okay, so I just found my first piece of Fitz and Floyd. So I'm going to look this up and see if I can find anything out about it. So they have it for $8 so pretty. So it seems like the pansy plates are the bigger sellers, but one of these sold for 27 So I think there's a little bit of money to be made. And it's really very beautiful, so we'll throw that in the card too. Okay, you guys, this is a weird one. So this appears to be like a mouse, and it has real hide-on hair, and then this is leather, and then its head comes off and it's actually a bottle. Let me see if I can. It's hard to be this one handed, but I'm wiggling it without knocking over everything. Uh, I'm trying. Okay. Now yeah, it's a bottle. It's so strange. I've never seen anything like this. Isn't that funny looking? Okay, guys. Well, that was really quite a marathon session. I was probably in there for close to two and a half hours, um, but I did end up spending $160, which was a lot, but I did find some really, really cool stuff that I think is going to more than pay for the trip. I also bought a pair of sandals. Right at the end, I found some old vintage European watercolors, um, and I bought a couple of toys for my daughter. So. It was a really great trip overall. Thank you for thrifting with me. And I will try to keep you guys posted on what I end up selling. I am going to link my eBay store um, down below. So make sure you check that out if you saw anything that interests you. All right, have a great day. Bye.